Namaste students. Welcome to my channel Suman Tutorials. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, comment and share. Thank you. Yes students, in this session, I am going to explain you the concept of image formation in a lenses with the help of a ray diagram. So the whole content I am going to explain you how the image is going to form using a convex lens. Yes students, if you want to learn how the image is going to form when you are having a convex lens, there are main three cases, very important three cases that you should learn. If you learn those three cases, how the ray of light will going to refract when it is passing through the three different stages of the cases. So it will be very easy for you to draw the ray diagram. So I am going to explain you first the basic three steps or the stages of the three different cases where the ray of light is going to get refracted after passing through the convex lens. So the first one, when the ray of light is parallel to the principal axis like this if the ray of light is parallel to the principal axis after passing through the convex lens it converges to the focus now if you write at the bottom side also so like this if it is parallel to the principal axis after refraction, it will converge to the focus. So that is the case one. Now the second case, the ray of light which is passing through the first focus. Then after refraction, it will be parallel. So first case, if it is parallel, after refraction it converges to the focus in the second case if it is passing through the focus after refraction it will be parallel now the final if it is passing through the optic center it will not deviates its path these are the three basic cases you must know before you are writing the ray diagram. Yes students, if you are clear with those three cases, I am going to explain you how you can able to write the ray diagram for the given condition. See here, first thing is the center, that is the optic center and you are going to write the focus. So it is a standard one, we are going to take only the two focus there. So, at the center, we are going to draw a lens. At the both sides, we are going to mark the focus. One thing that you should note it down, the distance between the focus must be same. Yes, students, see here, we are going to place the object to the left side of the lens. So, how many positions we are can able to place the object so totally there are six different positions so which are those first is at infinity second one beyond 2f1 third one at 2f1 fourth one in between f1 and 2f1 fifth one at f1 and the last one in between optic center and the F1. First position at infinity. At infinity, if the object is at infinity, for example, we are focusing the sun, then how the ray of light will go to converge after passing through the lens that I will show. See here a parallel beam of light. which is coming after passing through the convex lens it converges to the focus as we have studied previously 
at the infinity when a ray of light will going to refract through the convex lens the image will going to be formed at the focus so what is the nature of the image the nature of the image will be real the size of the image is highly diminished almost point sized yes students now i am going to explain you the second position that is beyond 2 f1 so stage 2 that is beyond 2 f1 so let me draw an object here yeah so <coughs> now we are going to draw the ray diagram when the object is placed at beyond 2 f1 to draw this ray diagram we are going to consider the two cases that is when the ray of light which is passing parallel to the principal axis and the second one when the ray of light passing through the optic center so if you can use those two it will become very easy for you to draw the diagram so let us draw it first thing is the ray diagram that is a array which is passing parallel to the principal axis so i told you very clearly if the ray of light is passing parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the focus so let me write yeah now one more that is the ray of light which is passing through the optic center so if the ray of light which is passing through the optic center it will going to pass without deviation yes clear so let me extend this one yeah see like this we can draw the ray diagram so it is very clear that if the object is placed beyond 2f1 the image is going to form in between f2 and 2f2 nature of the image real and inverted real and inverted and size will be diminished compared to that of the object so overall what we are going to say if the object is placed beyond 2f1 image is going to form in between f2 and 2f2 nature of the image will be real and inverted size will be diminished now position number 3 that is at 2f1 so let me draw an object at 2f1 procedure remains same we are going to take the two rays one is parallel to the principal axis and another ray passing through the optic center so let me draw it here first the ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will pass through the optic yeah it will pass through the focus second one the ray of light passing through the optic center if the ray of light is passing through the optic center it will going to pass without deviation so it will be like this yeah and the intersecting let me mark yes so see here if the ray of light which is passing through the convex lens it will going to converge to that one point so that it is going to form the real image see here if the object is placed at 2f1 the image is going to form at 2f2 <coughs> that is a position nature real and inverted and size is same i repeat 
when the object is placed at 2f1, image is going to form at 2f2. Nature of the image real and inverted, the size of the image remains same. Yes, students. Now the fourth position that is in between, in between 2f1 and f1. So here, let me draw an object. Now let us see what is going to happen. First step, a parallel line. with respect to the principal axis of the refraction it will pass through the focus second one a line which is passing through the optic center the line the ray of light passing through the optic center move without deviation Let me extend. Yes, so let me extend this part too. Yeah. This is how the image is going to form. If the object is placed in between F1 and 2F1, the image is going to form beyond 2F2. That is its position. Nature, real and inverted. Size, enlarged. Yeah, students. Now the fifth position that is at F one. Okay. Let me draw an object. Continue with the same procedure. Two lines. First one parallel to the principal axis. After refraction, it will pass through the focus. Next, the ray of light passing through the optic center. Okay, let me explain. And it will go continue. Means it is very clear that if the object is placed at F1, the image is going to form at infinity. So students, if the object is placed at F1, the image is going to form at infinity. Nature, real and inverted, size, enlarged. Yes, students, now the final position that is in between optic center and F1. So, in between optic center and F1. So, if the object is placed in between the optic center and F1, how the image is going to form? That I am going to explain you now. See here, I will place here. <coughs> Follow the same procedure. First thing, draw a line parallel to the principal axis and the second one is through the optic center. See here students, in this case we cannot expect the formation of the real image. So this is the only case in a convex lens where we can expect the formation of the virtual image. See here, I am going to show. So after refraction it will pass through with the focus then the second one is passing through the optic center by looking at the direction it is very clear that it will not go into intersect 100% then it is obviously in this condition there is no formation of the real image so what we are going to do we are going to extend the line backwards Yeah, at one point it will go into meet. So let me draw the line. Yes. <coughs> this is the virtual image. I repeat, when the object is placed in between the focus and the optic center, 
So let me explain. When the object is placed in between the optic center and the focus, for a convex lens, the image is going to form will be virtual and the size will be highly enlarged. No real image, only the virtual image is going to form and the size will be highly enlarged. This is the basic thing that you should note it down. Practice for the different positions so it will be very clear. Now, overall picture I am going to show in a table. So if you learn that table, so it will be very easy for you to remember the thing. So the first, I am going to use the column that is the position of object. So where we are going to place the object, next will be the position of image. position of the image, its size, what will be the size and next one its nature, final one its application. I told you there are six different cases. So let me write six row one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yes, friends. First is at infinity. That is at focus, the size is amount point sized, point sized, and the nature is uh, real and inverted, and where we are going to use it in burning glass, in burning paper, we are going to use this one in burning paper. Next one, beyond. F1, where we can expect the of image that is between f2 and 2f2 size diminished diminished nature as usual real and inverted where we are going to use this one we are going to use this one in a camera you can use camera lens also next at 2f1 it is form at 2f2 at 2f1 image is going to form at 2f2 it is of same size Nature will be real and inverted. Where we are going to use? We are going to use this one in telescope. See here, students. If you learn these three, reverse it by the next step. So you will get an answer. Very easy to remember. See here. In between 2F1 and right. 2F1 and F1. It will form beyond 2F2. See here. So, diminished here it is enlarged. It will be same. Real and inverted. Where we are going to use it? We are going to use this one in projector. Sliding projector. So next is at F1. 
it will form the image at infinity it is uh, enlarged real and inverted and where we are going to use it we are going to use this one in spectrometer final in between optic center and f1 the position of the image same side of lens same same side of lens size highly enlarged it is virtual and error application in magnifying glass yeah this is what dear if you learn this table it will be very easy for you to remember here also nothing is there first three part the next part will be reverse of it infinity f2 beyond to f1 in between f2 and to f2 at 2 f1 at 2 f2 is reverse in between f2 f1 and f1 beyond to f2 at f1 infinity in between optic center and focus on the same side so this is what i am very important in a first five cases or first five position the nature of the image is real and inverted only the last stage or the last position when the object is placed in between optic center and the focus it forms the virtual and empty images yes students that's all for today's session and i hope you like this video and it will going to help you a lot while writing the ray diagram if you like it then while you're waiting for please subscribe my channel along with that one don't forget to like comment and share